Hi guys, this is Ryan Garcia, and this is Ryan Garcia versus Lou Campbell, The Breakdown. This is a recap of my fight against Luke Campbell. Uh, there was a lot of hype around this fight and a lot of buildup uh, because he was my, I would say, first high-level opponent that is uh, seen and respected in the sport of boxing. So everybody wanted to see if I could really fight and if the hype was real. So this was a big test for me. And going into it, uh, I just knew I had to lock in because he's a great fighter. Looking back at it, I see myself uh, getting carried out. That's pretty sick, I'm not gonna lie. But uh, a lot of pressure. At the time, I didn't realize what I was doing until I was on there. <laughs> but, you know, doesn't matter. That's kind of cool, though. Yeah, I, knock, I had to knock him out. If you come out like that, you gotta knock the guy out. Round one. Round one. Round one, I would say, uh, I felt very comfortable in there. I said, oh, I can beat this guy pretty pretty easily like I just thought that I just thought that I could beat him um, he he felt my power right away and the just my presence um, he was trying to counter countering me a lot after I throw a punch which most people tried I guess um, but I was breaking him down caught him with some good shots in the first round won it pretty comfortably I would say but uh, yeah, he was actually stronger than I thought. He was pretty strong build. When I got in there, I said that right away. I was like, oh, this guy's stronger than I thought he was. But, uh, yeah. Oh, now here comes me getting dropped, which everybody has replayed a billion times. <laughs> but it was a great shot. I mean, what can I say? He uh, clipped me with the left hand over the top. I ate it and got right back up. So. Everybody complains that Luke Campbell didn't go and try to finish me off. He did. He just can't finish me off that easily. <laughs> I don't think. I think he found out that real soon. But uh, got back to the corner. I mentioned to my uh, trainers that uh, he still can't do to me. <laughs> that was my exact word. <laughs> then I started pressing him. I was like, all right, here comes the real fight. Uh, caught him with some good combinations. Uh, then the fifth round came about, as we're seeing right here. Uh, he came in, reached with a, a straight left with his hand down, got caught with a left hook. Didn't hit him after the bell. I could, they should have stopped it. He, you turn around, that's, that's like you're quitting. Uh, sixth round comes after I heard him in the fifth. Everybody told me to stay calm, but I didn't listen. I just went at him. I'm not doing nonstop punches. Uh, and then I got tired. <laughs> I punched myself out. <laughs> Didn't realize how tired I was. Seventh round, I was like, all right, I'm gonna go back to just chilling and just like getting to him, but not gonna waste no energy. But I uh, kept my guard up pretty tight in the seventh round. I could see it right here. That sounds pretty nice. Man, he's good. Who's that guy? Look good too. <laughs> Yeah, he was just, he was done. He was throwing punches just to throw him after this point. Um, and then I jump in with the left hook to the body. He didn't see it coming at all. And that was all she wrote. So, um, kudos to Luke Campbell though. He came in and tried to fight. Uh, I like people that try to win a fight, you know. And he wanted to win, he fought his heart out. And it's respect, I have nothing but respect for Luke Campbell. Um, even if he beat me, I would have respected him. He's a great fighter. Uh, it was a hard match for me, technical, everything. You know. so he was he was physical, he was sharp, but uh, I think I proved that I'm at a high level. I mean, I think even uh, people who consider Lomachenko the highest level fighter, right, technical wise, uh, he even said that I'm high level due to this fight because he fought Luke Campbell himself. So that should show you the credibility of this victory that people seem to sometimes miss. But uh, yeah, it was a great fight. I'm happy that it went down and that's the recap from my words. Other than that, I mean, I was emotional um, for the victory because a lot of people didn't see that I was a great fighter. I mean, I've been fighting since I was seven years old and I've always wanted to win a gold medal. Like I wanted to go to Olympics. I was on the USA team, but just chose not to wait four years. So in a way I was like, man, I am a gold medalist. Like I was, I was satisfied. I felt, 
I felt relieved. Like I, I accomplished what I what I wanted as a kid. Like what I wanted as a kid was win a gold medal, and I felt like I did it. So that's that's part of why I was crying too.